Today I'm in Arizona, in the mountains outside of Wickenburg. Main reason is, I've always wanted to come and check out this mill. Just never made it this way, and happened to be out here looking for some shafts to descend down for some videos, and figured out what the hey, I'm here. It was really neat, I was way over here um, um, by the Monarch Mine, and I took the old stage road to this wash. That was a lot of fun, that was a lot of fun. I'll put the pictures of a group of cows. We ended up having a stare down competition for an hour and a half before they decided to get out of the road. They were not moving whatsoever. Let's we'll start off over here. Looks like a water tank and a water pump system. And there's a bigger water tank. Uh, I'm not gonna get any closer. There's a nest of bees over there. and I'm gonna leave them alone. I already made a walk around this mill and you could just see that is, he built it or who built whoever built it, it took a bunch of parts from everywhere and put them together See if I get this done before this thunderstorm comes in. I already camped in it last night, and boy, it was nasty. So he had something here. You got a pulley up there. He had something, to, some type of machinery here. couple tanks I love the steps you see he even had a little drain pipe there so that was like an auger bit I wonder if this was a roaster I don't know Like I said, I mean, he just took bits and pieces and built the equipment he needed. And he even used drill steel. There's a belt. And again, what? So you have this big gear and case in concrete. It was used as a mount. And then here he's using runway, um, the temporary or the emergency runway material. And there's nothing so reassuring than trusting somebody else's welds. So it looks like he had a chute that way. And there's another chute right over there. So he had another piece. Of, I mean, I cannot make heads or tails on everything because there's like multiple ways everything came down. There's a differential.
See, another way of stuff coming down. I almost hit this when I was taking um, still photos. That would have been no fun. That would have been a quick drive into Wickenburg for possible stitches. As he has some sorting screens, and he must have had um, the engine. They ran the mill sitting over there. <sighs> okay. Ah. differential pulley so material was loaded up into this worked its way down I don't know where it's overburdened stuff went because got a conveyor here. Okay, there, there's the hopper there. I mean, did the conveyor go two different directions? Because you're gonna have oversized material coming back over here, unless there was something here at one point that made the oversized go down there. But then why waste the energy to crush it and bring it back up? The undersize can fall through here, run this conveyor down over into that hopper. Like I said, I mean, trying to figure out what, how this actually worked is kind of fun. So let's get up here at the top of the mess. So he pulled this from another mill. Yeah, this is really neat. The mines on the material, I think he was working. There's a couple mines back over there. Uh, I already checked out the shafts. They didn't go back very far or down very far. It looks like they were, looks like they just been filled in because of the rain. And there's a couple more mines this way that I'm heading for next. Yeah. This is just, Really neat, really cool exercise, and what you can actually build if you put your mind to it. I don't want to stand up there too long, get the lightning storm or the thunderstorm coming in. Yeah, it's just, huh. So, that's gonna be it for today's little video. You made it to the very end, I appreciate it. Ah, there we go. If this gets you out to do some exploring on your own, do it, have fun. And always remember to be safe and not to stand on top of a metal structure when you got a storm rolling in. <laughs>